Hey everybody, Ben here. I am excited for two reasons. First, I'm excited because we're continuing tonight in our Foundations series, talking about topics that are essential for following Jesus. We did part one of this series back in January. We picked up part two last week with our conversation on the Holy Spirit. Huge shout out to the high school students who put that lesson together. And I'm loving the conversations that we get to have in this series. So that's one reason I'm excited. Second reason, I get to cheat right now <laughs> in a good way. Tonight's topic is the church. What does it mean to be the church? And I'm cheating. We're going to watch a video that we did a few years ago with my friend Kayla. Kayla was a pastor here at Black Hawk for a number of years, and she taught this lesson on being the church. And it's going to set us up for exactly the kinds of conversations that we want to have tonight. So let's lean in. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Home Group. The word we are talking about this week is church. What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? In context, church is a word often used to refer to a place. Where do you go to church? Oh, I go to church at Blackhawk. Did you go to church as a kid? No, my parents didn't take me to church. Culturally, it's pretty standard to use the word church to signify a physical place a place you either go to or don't go to. Your church might look like this, or like this. For some people around the world, this is church, or this. But actually, we haven't seen the church yet. None of these pictures you've just seen captures the church. That's because the church isn't a building or a place. We are the church. The church began as a small group of men and women who believed that Jesus was the Son of God. They walked with him. They witnessed his power in the way that he healed people and did all kinds of supernatural stuff. They saw him lay down his life, and they also saw him take it back up again. These early believers actually encountered Jesus. They actually hung out with him after he came back to life. And in that time, Jesus talked with them, encouraged them, and then commissioned them to be the church. Have you done this before? Okay, everybody do it with me, okay? Here's the church, here's the steeple, open the doors, and there's all the people, okay? Wrong, okay? Whoever taught you that was a liar. They lied, okay? This is more accurate. Here's the building, here's the steeple. Open the doors and there's the church, okay? The church isn't a building or a place. It's actually the people of God. Church is made up of all the people around the world who follow Jesus. Why should I care? Why should I care? Why should I care? Because you are the church, and the church is not stagnant. It is active and on mission. If you are a Jesus follower, then you are a part of his church. And if you're a part of his church, then you gotta move. You see, when Jesus came, he started a movement. He brought the kingdom of God here to earth, a new world order, a new way of living. And we, as his church, become agents of this kingdom, spreading it, sharing it, embodying it wherever we go. We are agents of Jesus himself, spreading the good news of his life given to us, sharing him with friends and embodying him wherever we go. You see, we're moving. We're a part of a Jesus movement. So Jesus was here on earth for about 30 to 35 years. He died and then rose from the dead, hung out with his friends, with the people who knew him and believed him to be God. And then he went back up to be with the Father. During that time, after he rose from the dead, while he was hanging out with the early believers, he told them this, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. 
To be the church is to be on mission. The church is the global community of Jesus people on mission. Jesus invites us to be the church by making disciples of all nations. This looks like sharing the good news about Jesus and walking with people in their questions and doubts. It looks like being like Jesus at school and at home by serving your friends and siblings and others around you. By extending kindness and forgiveness to people who are just kind of mean or who annoy you. It looks like choosing to obey God and admitting when we've made a mistake or need help. It looks like loving God and trusting Him to be with you always. What's there to talk about? What's there to talk about? What's there to talk about? So what's there to talk about? I have a few questions I'd like you to take back to your discussion groups tonight. How have you thought of the church in the past? Do you see yourself as the church today? How can you be an agent of Jesus and his kingdom where you are right now? You guys, to be the church is to always be with God and with others. Do you ever feel alone when you try to live out your faith? What can we do to support one another and be on mission together? Thanks, and we'll see you next time.